for a little bit? All right, good win for our team. You know, South Dakota State had a lot of respect for them. Uh, they've played a lot of tough places already this season. And, uh, you know, Douglas Wilson coming in and watching him and Brandon Key in particular, we were really concerned. And looking at the stat sheet, I thought our team did a really nice job against their best two guys of holding that down and really the difference in the game. You know, our rebounding, obviously from an offensive perspective, Trace and Justin did a great job. Trace in particular was very dominant on the glass. And uh, we were able to, uh, you know, make enough plays to hold a lead. Um, but without question, there's just a – a little bit of that funny feeling that we're not playing as well as we need to. We're not as sharp as we need to, and we got to take care of the ball a little bit better. But we finished November, and we put this one to bed. And obviously, from this point forward, things get a lot more difficult for us. And it starts on Tuesday, and our preparation for Florida State will begin now. And it should be a great opportunity to play against a terrific ACC team, you know, de depth and size at, at the highest level. So, um, but it's a good group. Our team's got to keep getting better. And I think as we continue to uh, evolve here, um, you know, I think you're starting to see a lot of different guys contribute, which I'm happy about. But I think we can still make a big, big jump. And as we can get some more guys in the game uh, to play more minutes, I think that's going to be very, very important. You talked after the Louisiana Tech game about wanting to see longer possessions for the, you know, the offenses. Um, Going against your defense, I don't think you had two shot clock violations in the first half. Yeah, of the but half we, year. we were better. We were better tonight defensively. Uh, in particular, we didn't get it spread out, and uh, we were a little bit better defensively in transition at times. Uh, South Dakota State completely took the air out of the ball. You know, when you put five guys in the paint on defense, you're gonna have to make some shots. We made enough. Uh, our percentages weren't terrible at halftime, but you know, clearly when you're 15 feet off your man at five positions, you're basically saying, hey, look, we're just going to let these guys shoot and hopefully they, they miss. And, you know, for us, we have to be able to grind it away a little bit. We have to figure out those grinder games and be able to play without turning it over and get some quality possessions. I thought the free throw line was a bugaboo tonight. I think we had four pair or at least three pair. You know, you can pretty much equate those to, to turnovers. Um, you know, when you go to the line and you have a pair and you miss two, that's an empty possession. So I think we had three or four of those, which was a little uncharacteristic for us tonight, uh, which kept that lead right around where it was instead of 15, 16, 17. Um, and then on the other end of the floor, you know, for us, I thought they methodically ran their offense. They tried to get good looks. But uh, for our guys, I thought we did a nice job of taking away the easy ones. We didn't get to spread out. We didn't give as much uh, of the pick and roll game up. Uh, we still got to do a better job guarding the ball. And for a big team, we don't play big around the rim. There's not enough shot blocking. There's not enough hard plays at the basket. But that's getting ready to really change as we get ready to keep moving forward here, especially on Tuesday with the amount of size, talent, and athleticism that's going to come our way. But better defensively, from a percentage standpoint, clearly we're better there. Coach Trace with uh, another double-double. What, what does he allow you to do differently maybe than you were able to do in the past just with his quickness and athleticism and everything that brings to the floor? Well, he's just a natural. Uh, naturally, he's got great hands and length. Um, he's a spring off the, off the boards in terms of being able to go get the ball. Um, he's getting balls that other guys can't get, so that's obviously a gift that, that he brings to the table. But he continues to do that for us, which is important. You know, rebounding the ball is a huge deal for this team. Nine offensive rebounds is something else. But 19 and 14 is obviously a big deal. Justin was good on the offensive glass with his effort. But I didn't see the amount of the onslaught that we've seen in different games. And maybe it was just our rotation didn't allow for different guys to get in there. But we didn't have as many guys impacting the boards as I'd liked. And uh, that's got to change. We've got to continue to find ways to impact the game on the glass. Uh, teams aren't going to obviously let us just run out and get going. So the second shots is a big part of what we're doing. But Trace was dominant on the glass tonight. He went up and got five, six balls that nobody else can get. And, you know, in and around the basket, continuing to find different ways for him to be effective, um, you know, is a big deal. You just mentioned the fact that it's, it's going to get a lot more difficult after this. I mean, at this point, what do you feel good about going into the stretch? What do you feel best about going into the stretch where you're going to play all high majors going forward? And what are you most concerned about? Well, I continue to be concerned about our defense. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, our lack of depth at guard is really getting get exposed as we start to play the talent level and the guards on the other, other team. You know, uh, hopefully we can get Robert back at some point in time. That's un undecided right now. But uh, Armand and Al and Devante being uh, our guard tandem right now, I've got to continue to do a great job of being better on the ball. From an off-the-ball defensive perspective and defending the post, we're going to have to continue um, to use our depth and, and to use our team approach in terms of defending the paint and get better there defensively. 
my biggest concern going into some of these games is taking care of the ball. You know, our, our guard play here in the last couple games in terms of taking care of it hasn't been very good. And I just think some of the other guys just dropping balls or not catching them or missing point blank layups. We've got to be better than that in, in, in the simple plays. But offensively, you know, if we're out of transition, you know, we're, we're not getting our, our break going. Teams are going to take you out of that uh, and make you play in the half court. You know, can we run efficient offense without, you know, turning the ball over? Because if we do, I think we can get to the foul line. And I think that, um, you know, we have a lot of different players that can impact it. But if we turn it over 19 times, eight at the half, 11 more in the second half, uh, that's a recipe for disaster. And Florida State is going to turn you over like crazy on Tuesday night. Their size, their switching, their length at the basket, it's going to be impossible just to get two-point baskets. You're not going to have that. So our guard's going to take care of it. Our team has to be better offensively to take care of the ball when we get into a half-court setting. If we get into transition, obviously I think that's where we're at our best. But that's not going to be the case. We have to be able to run good offense, get quality shots, and at the end of the day we have to be a team that doesn't turn it over very many times. And these last three halves – Second half against our last opponent, and then moving into these last two halves, if you look at the turnovers, they're just destroyed our offense. You know, we've really haven't taken care of the ball very well. So that's a big part of it, just taking care of the ball against good teams. I mean, you have all high majors going for Can you not have games where, you know, your two, your two starting guards both didn't score a whole lot? Does that change a little bit when you start to face bigger teams now? Yeah, I mean, uh, college basketball comes down to obviously your depth, but it comes down to guard play. We've always said that. And, you know, Al and Devontae tonight, Al didn't shoot it as much. I thought Al did a really nice job defensively. Um, a big deal coming into the game was Brandon Key and his ability to make guys better. And he had six turnovers in the game, and he was one for six. Al had a big role in that. Devontae isn't, you know, to me, wasn't feeling as well as he had in the past. I mean, you could tell that I didn't think he had his quickness as much we're going to need him. But Al and Devonte in particular, those guys are going to have to do a lot for us. We know that. Armand's got to get his confidence back. You know, right now he's not playing with a whole lot of confidence shooting the ball, which, uh, you know, that's not a big deal. That comes and goes with young guys that will come. And, you know, if we get Rob back here, eventually it adds another guy where those guys aren't playing as many minutes. But we got to get Demise and Jerome in there a little bit as much as more. You know, part of their struggles offensively or part of their lack of scoring is they're just not playing enough minutes. Today they got more minutes. But as we play bigger teams, better teams, those two guys got to continue to get in there. It's the second time you've used the word if uh, connected to Rob Finney returning, I guess. Is, is I have it, no idea is when it he's going to. Is on the table? Is a medical redshirt on the table at this point? Is that something that's no. being discussed? No. I mean, he's day to day with what we're doing, but I, I don't have a return date or when he's coming back to practice. He's kind of 50 50 on you know, contact, non contact. And, uh, but no, there's no redshirt on the table right now. Okay. Anything else for Coach? Nope. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.